It's really nice to see you all here. Um, We'll see who else joins on, but let's begin. So welcome everyone to Dance With The Ball session five. Um, today we're gonna be talking about how you can use your resources efficiently and effectively. So this session is dedicated to global goal number seven. So we get a good affordable and clean energy. So when we were in the Global Goals World Cup with my team, Inspiring Inequalities, we started a group called Women in Soccer and when we, after the tournament in Copenhagen last May, when we were in Stockholm, I was walking by the old city and I saw this incredible ship. And they had the global goal symbol, they talked about the global goals, they were called the energy observer. And this ship is hydrogen based and is sailing around the whole world. And it's basically a laboratory on water. So it's something that I encourage everyone to look into and what they're doing is really inspiring and really incredible. So now in this time, let's continue to stay at home, train at home, let's take the ball and let's get started. Okay, so to begin with, you're gonna need a chair. If you don't have a chair, it's perfectly fine to use two socks, two shoes, whatever you have available, two books. <laughs> um, so now we're going to take the ball. So I have my chair set up this way. So I'm going to start passing the ball through the chair like this here, stopping it and coming through and coming on the other side. So it's almost like um, in English we say nutmeg, so I'm nutmegging a player. In Swedish we say tuna, I know in Spanish I think they say canu. So whoever's joining, whatever language it is, to put the ball between the player's legs, not make them, make them, tunnel them, gather them, write in your language, what does it mean? So we're just going to start nice and easy, coming through, stopping it inside. Oh, sometimes the defender wins. Right them again. Coming through, coming round, stopping. So ten more. Sorry, still on one chair. 
So we did with the inside and the outside. So the first one was inside, the second one was just coming to the outside. So now I'm just going to use my right, my left foot here. So the first one I'm going to come inside, stop, outside, stop. Inside, stop, outside, stop. So let's go about 30 seconds, left foot only, then we switch to the right. Inside, outside. Sometimes the defender wins. Right foot only now. I come through. Outside. The back. Inside. Next one stop. Outside. So tall. Inside. Tall. Outside. Here, Ala from Jordan. Nice to meet you. It's really nice. So many are joining in from Jordan. My nana is here again. <laughs> Always nice to see you. 
Next part, a little bit of dynamic stretching, still involving the chair. So I'm here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to work forward in front of the chair, and I'm going to hug my knee. So I'm coming back around forward, hugging the knee. So I'm coming here, box. If I want to go quicker, I can come forward. But it's okay if I'm just here. Coming forward. Grabbing my foot. Two more. Now I'm going to hold the chair here, so a little bit of balance. Watch out for the other chair. So now I'm just going to swing my left leg. Then go to my right, forward and back. I'm going to go behind the chair, holding the chair. Right, right, my left leg again. I'm going to come across my body. So you cross it out. Other side. Good. So now I'm going to move this chair a little bit. So the last part of this dynamic warm up. So I really love incorporating the ball in everything I do. So on this side, so I'm still using the chair. So now I'm going to volley. Remember, no spin. We're going to shuffle the other side. Volley. If I can, I can have two touch. So on the other side, two touch. If I can, to challenge it even more, I can have two touch, but one coming over. So now I shuffle and catch it. So one, two, over, shuffle and catch the ball. Up, up, shuffle. So the ball's coming on this side of the chair, I'm moving on the opposite. So one, two, catch. If you can't, it's perfectly fine to stay here. Just working on feeling the ball here. Pop. No spin on the ball. My ankle is strong. I can stay two. I can come over. And then if I want, I can see how many I can go back and forth without dropping the ball. It's very hard. Um, so I can go one, two. So maybe I can go ahead of here. I can have a bounce if I like. You can catch it. So I can have a bounce. Get it over. Bounce, walk. I'm working on that. Ball each other's side. One bounce, ball in, bounce, catch. Bounce, ball in, ball, bounce, catch. Here we go, work, catch. So bounce, ball in, bounce, catch. Bounce, ball in, bounce, catch. Yeah, about 30 more seconds. So I can sit here. Is that here, come on? Got here a lot from Jordan, <laughs> Coach from Coach Aya. Nice to see you. The next part, we're going to need our socks. Um, if you don't have them, you can use shoes. Of course, you can use their chairs as well. But my kitchen is pretty small, so I'm going to use my socks. <laughs> so from here, we'll come back to the chairs in a little bit. I'm going to put this away for now. So from here, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to start here. I'm going to put a socks kind of in a straight line towards my ear up here. 
And I'm going to come here as well. And I'm going to have one more. I may readjust this a little bit depending how it fits. The first one, what we started with the message of step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. So now we're going to do it in a zigzag motion. So step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. I'm going to clap, clap, and go with my other foot. So now my left. Clap, clap, go with my right. But notice my plant, that gives me the power. So when I cut around the cone or around the defender, so I'm cutting here, I'm planning so I can explode them in that space. So same thing here. So if I'm coming around, my first step here, I'm in that position so I can come up. So it's this really athletic single leg position, explode away from the defender. So we're going to spend 30 minutes in and out. So I'm working on the the left foot cut, step to the right, right foot cut, step to the left. Yeah, let's go. So I'm going to cut here, step, every, every touch, every step I get to touch. Then I go back. So you can see, then it gives me the power to explode. Proper cutting technique. Notice how my body is moving in the direction I want to go. So I'm coming. Flex a little lever right here. So I'm dribbling. That's that one. If you need to take it slow, it's perfectly good. okay to keep working on this. Cut, step, explode. Cut, step, explode. A few more. Well done. Next one, we're going to focus on a little bit of turns. We're going to work with the inside and outside of our feet. So now I have my socks, my defenders here. <laughs> have some freedom, have some fun when you're dribbling around in your kitchen, living room, or you may be. If I'm dribbling towards my right now, same thing, every step, every, every step I get a touch. Step, touch, step, outside of the foot. One, two, and then I attack the next side. So now I'm going to turn my left. Now my left foot, stop, stop, attack. So it looks like this if I'm facing you guys when I'm dribbling at you. I'm really cutting hard. So my whole foot's almost stopping the ball outside. One, a little touch, the third one is exploding away. One, two, three. The third touch, first touch, stop. Second, I'm guiding into the direction of separation. Third, I'm exploding into space. So let's see where my ball went here. Again, I'm going to my left, so I stop the ball with my left. So here, cut, cut, explode. And I can come to the next one. Just keep working on it. I'll take it slow, I'll take it fast. We'll go here for about one minute. So again, my left, I stop with my left, little touch, explode to the next one. Stop with my right, little touch, explode. So if I'm coming to the first one, one, two, 
you and I'm setting myself up for the next one. Pop. We keep going. One minute here. Same. So I'm going to my left. I turn on my right. Well done. Let's see who we got here. Thank you all for being here. Really nice, everyone from Jordan. I hope you're enjoying everything. The next part I call the bow and arrow series. So I'm pulling something back and shooting it. So same thing with the bow. I'm going to go one way but come around. So I'm going to use these boxes of the thunder. So the first one we're going to do is a little bit of a chop. So here I'm going behind my leg, there. So if I have the ball on the left, I'm chopping, chopping it behind my right leg. So right leg coming behind, left leg, um, it's a little bit of a hop, one more time nice and slow, so if I'm here and I'm chopping it, I'm coming behind my leg there, left side, so take a few rounds of practice just here, I'm coming behind. So now, with my socks here, so when I dribble at my first sock, I'm going to chop with my left, but now I'm going to come around the sock like a bow and arrow. So now I'm attacking this next sock, chopping, and I come around here to beat the ball. So I'm going, having the ball go on one side of the defender, I'm going on the other <laughs> to, attack, to attack the next face. So we'll try it a little bit slow, so I'm messy dribbling every step. I'm chopping, coming around, taking my attacking touch. Then attacking touch, chopping, coming around, attacking touch. Then I go back. Nice and easy. Chop, and I come around, it's right in my space. We'll go here for about one minute, go as fast or as slow as you need. I will vary my speed. So I'm going to go here, chop, explode in the space, chop, explode, chop. Chop, coming around, meeting the ball. Next one, it's called the, I call it the Pickle Lido. A lot of people call it different, different names. I learned it when I was really young. <laughs> so basically, now it's instead of chopping directly, so now I'm throwing the ball with sole my foot, I'm coming behind my leg and hitting it there. So I'm going to draw the ball back and hit it behind my leg. So I have a little hop. So as I draw the ball back, I hop a little bit. And then I hit the ball there. So my left foot's on the ball, I stole the ball back, I hit it behind my leg. It's okay to perfectly stay there if you have trouble hopping. Go back, hop, hit. Go back, hop, hit. So just work on this pattern a little bit. Take about 30 seconds. Go the ball back, hit. Go the ball back, hit. So now we can keep going, it's okay to take it slow. So now we have our defenders who are still working with the bow and arrow. So if I'm going towards my left, I'm attacking with my left. So I'm coming pretty close to the defender, pretty close to the sock. I'm going to pull the ball back, hit it one way, and then I come and meet the ball. Same thing. On my right foot, I'm on the side of the defender, pop, hit, and I come around. Pop. So we keep going as fast and as slow as you like, so I can go nice and easy. 
Really work on this motion coming around. Or I can have a hop. And that touch must explode in that space. So I'm preparing, exploding. Preparation touch, exploding with the space. One minute here. Tricky. <laughs> really, really nice to see everybody. Hey, Becca. <laughs> Definitely sharing this after. I'm glad everyone's enjoying the session. Last one. A bit tricky, but I know you guys can do it. So I'm going to show up to you without the phones first. So if I take the touch with my left, my first step is I'm going to come behind here. So touch, step, over, touch. We'll take it slow again. So if I take that touch with my left, now I'm going to stop the ball on my right here. And then I'm going to shift my weight here and then take this touch there. So same thing with my right, take the little touch, I'm coming behind my left, coming over and touching. So touch, behind, over, explode. So as I'm driving, I'm coming over, exploding. So nice and easy, just for wherever you're at, touch, behind, over, explode. So it's okay to just work here. So if I'm here, I'm working behind, over, explode. Behind, over, explode. Behind, over, explode. So my foot is stopping the ball, exploding. So if I turn around here for you guys. Behind, over, explode. So now when I'm doing it at a sock or whatever you have, so now when I'm dribbling at my sock here, behind, over. So now I come with my right, I come over with my left, and over. chairs and just with socks. So we're going to turn the music down here. Thank you all for joining the session. Um, what I love about the Global Goals and I really am passionate about Global Goal number 10, but today I, talk, I want to talk a little bit about number seven, is that all the goals connect. <laughs> Everything in football, everything in life, there, there's always some sort of connection, whether it's through network and so on. We can learn so much through connecting with people and through our different connections that we have. When I met the Energy Observer, it was amazing to share knowledge. And then there's another um, English guy I met in the US, David Copeland-Smith, 
started a company called Beast Mode Soccer. So anyone that's interested in even more technical challenges, I'll add the link on the site so everyone can check it out. And there's numerous thousands of drills you can do with such little equipment, just with very little amount of resources and energy you need to continue development. So this is small things that can make the different the difference in your own development. So I'll send you those links and I hope you can check it out. So thank you so much for everyone joining all these sessions and it's been a pleasure and I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday.